Hello and welcome to another RepFab video. On today's video we're going to replace the mesh on these speaker grills. As you can see on the video at the moment the speaker grills are not in that good condition. There's quite a few holes in them and then just general wear and tear. It's quite faded on most of the area and they just need to be replaced to bring them back to how they should be. Let's get to the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is give them a quick hoover off and a quick wipe down before we go any further. So now that both grills have been hoovered, we can remove the badge first. This is just stuck on in most cases. Obviously you just need to check this because sometimes it might have little clips on the back, but on this particular model it's just stuck on. So now to make it easier I'm just going to make a cut into the front of the grill just obviously making sure not to cut any of the plastic in behind. This is when I come to realise that the blade I'm using is pretty blunt so in a minute I will snap a bit off, you won't see it but I'll snap it off before I go any further because it just makes it hard work this way. And then that way it'll be a nice fresh blade to cut through all the other bits. Now here I'm just proceeding to peel the mesh off of the frame. Uh, this is pretty simple to be honest on this grill, it's coming off quite easily. It's only just obviously old glue on there, which is allowing it to come off easier than what it would if it was fresh glue. Um, so yeah, this is just a case of peeling it off now. Now that the material has been removed from the frame, we can look at cutting the new piece of material the right size before we go any further. This is the material I got, which is actually on Amazon. It isn't an exact match of what came off, but it is a nice looking speaker grill. So it, it will give like an OE finish to it. Um, admittedly, not exactly the same as what was on there before, but once it's done, it will look good still. So with this fabric, you will stretch it over. So you can cut it fairly close to the edges, um, although I'm allowing a little bit extra and probably the best way to do it. But it will stretch quite a bit, which is what you want to do when you come to fitting it. Not overstretch it, but you just want to stretch it so it's sort of taut around the front of the area. So with this grill now, I'm just going to mask it up any bits I don't want the glue to get on. I'm going to be using spray glue, just a normal standard spray glue, uh, contact adhesive, which will be ideal for this sort of application. But I want to cover up as much as I can so I don't get too much glue everywhere. Because I want to keep it so localised, this is the way I've decided to do it. The spray glue I'm using is just from Screwfix, just a basic spray contact adhesive. So now the masking tape's in place, so you just carefully spray some adhesive around the edges. Now with this nozzle, it sprays like a line, so if you just keep it oriented so the line is in line with the grill, then it will mean that less spray glue will go elsewhere. Now that the glue's been applied, we can remove the masking tape. Now at this point we can lay the new material down on the surface and get ready to apply it to the grill frame. I'm going to attach one side first and then I'll be able to pull it over to the other side. So when you're attaching it down onto the contact adhesive, you just give it a light bit of pressure to start with just to make sure that you've got it in the right place before final fixing. So at this point I'm just going to fix the main side section and leave the corners. Now that we've got one side fixed, we can now turn it round and start on the other side. So now you need to put on the fabric as you stick it down on this side. But as you do it, you just need to watch as it's creasing on the front. Obviously, if you pull it and stick it down in the wrong place, the front will leave creases. So you need to do it in such a way that it pulls it taut and leaves it nice and flat. Here you can see I'm just turning it over just to check how taut the front is and as it is now this is perfect. I can now get this side stuck down firmly. 
So there may be times whilst you're doing this that you have to lift it up and put it back down again and most of the time it will stick down fine but occasionally you might find that you have to put more glue on there. So don't be scared to do this, just obviously when you do it just make sure you cover up any areas you don't want the glue to go on otherwise you're going to risk getting the spray on the front of it or on the sides or any sort of front facing area which you're going to see. Now at this point you can see that I'm working on the corner so as you do this you need to pull it tight from both angles if you don't you'll get creases on the front of it so you sort of pull it round as you're sticking it down from both top and side point. Again at this section you might find that you need to put more glue in this area purely because you're sort of lifting it up and down trying to get it right without getting on creases on the corner so if you do find this just make sure that you cover up the areas you don't want to get the glue on. Alternatively instead of spraying the glue on you could spray the glue into like a little pot and then use something to apply the glue that you've sprayed in the pot onto the area. Um, even something like the end of a cocktail stick or the end of a brush or even a brush if you don't but if you don't want to ruin it just use the end and just dab a little bit around that area. So you'll see on the part that I've just done that it stuck down before I wanted it to so you can see that there's a bit of glue that's come off onto the mesh so this doesn't need to be worried about because you'll cut that section off anyway when you stick it down because the material will have to be stretched over so that bit will be on the excess part. You can also see that I'm now applying a little bit more glue in the area and just making sure that no glue is going on any of the parts by the way I've masked it and the way I'm spraying it. I'm just working around the edges just making sure it's all stuck down okay obviously if you do get a part which is not stuck down quite as well you can dab a little bit of super glue in that area as well just to hold it down once you've trimmed it so it's not a big deal so now that all the mesh has been stuck onto the frame we can now look at trimming off all the excess obviously again care needs to be taken here because you don't want to go through with the blade and cut any of the front section or any of the bits that you're going to see so we just need to carefully cut onto the back of the frame through the mesh and just remove any sections of the mesh we don't need. And as you can see after it's trimmed and flipped over you can see just how good it looks now with a new fresh piece of mesh material on there. Now we can look at replacing the badge back onto the new mesh. All I'm going to do here is just going to measure it all out, make sure I've got it central, make sure I've got it roughly in the right height, similar to what it was before. Um, and then I'm going to use some super glue on the back of it and then stick it down. Obviously, whilst you're doing this, you don't want to move it around once the super glue is on there. You need to make sure that you're fixing it in that correct location. So using the masking tape and marking the central position, you can leave the masking tape on there work out what the central position is on the badge as well and then stick it down in one go and then it needs to be left. Um, it will stick pretty quick on there anyway but what I'm saying is you don't want to put the badge on and then move it round while you're trying to glue it because you'll just make a mess of it and you'll get glue all over the parts you don't want to. So now the badge is stuck pretty quick on there. Um, if I tried peeling it off now it would damage it so the glue does go off quite quick on this occasion. I've just used a standard type super glue. This one again from Screwfix. I'm not sure if any other countries have Screwfix, but this is in the UK. So as you can see, that speaker grill is now finished. It's come out really well. I'm really happy with it. So what I'm going to do is skip past the whole process of doing the second one, but I'm just going to show putting the badge on just to show you what I do to measure up the two to make sure the badge is in the right location. So just putting the masking tape next to it. I measured it the other one. Again, just getting that in the right area before I put the super glue on the badge and then fix that down. And that's it, all complete. As you can see, they've come out really well. I'm really happy with them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.